morning you guys welcome to another 5 a.m morning it is so bright outside right now i woke up my alarm rang at exactly five and i looked at the window and i'm like why is it actually bright right now like that is so crazy to me because i feel like that just switched within a matter of days but i love it like i literally love how it's bright oh hello because it just makes you feel like a lot more i guess awake it doesn't feel like the middle of the night this way when you can actually look out and see that there's light outside which is nice things are off to a good start this summer or i guess the spring slash summer but i'm so happy that the days are so much longer the sun's setting later the sun's rising earlier and it's so nice to wake up this early and it doesn't feel like you are like 3 a.m you know so anyways joel and i are going to the gym today i've been off of my grind for a couple of days now because of the cats because of the little kittens that we got um they have been keeping us housebound because they're just too cute and i have been debilitated so i haven't been out of the house honestly in a while to the gym and so we're going back today we're getting back into the routine after a few days off but yeah so that's the plan for today just kind of easing back into things i gotta go grocery shopping etc because i have no we have no groceries like at all it's also so freaking cold right now that's why i'm wearing my jacket because i am freezing like it, it, it i woke up and the house said it is going to be negative 10 degrees in here for some reason i think joel actually turned off the heat last night because it gets like kind of hot at night and it's like icky but then in the morning it's freezing so it's like you can't get the best of both worlds anyways got my bone broth let's get going to the gym gym little outfit of the day my sports bra and my biker shorts are from aritzia it's their butter collection i actually just got these my sister gave me an aritzia gift card for my birthday so you know i had to spend it and then i got just this gray jacket on from princess polly this jacket is super 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 cozy and warm and i needed to bring it out for a morning i'm excited for it to get warmer in the morning guys that's gonna be so nice in the summer but anyways little gym fit of the day with my new bounces as always i've honestly been loving waking up at 5 a.m like it doesn't feel right if i don't do it now it's kind of weird like my body has adjusted a bit especially now that it's bright it just cherry on top so anyways cheers let's go to the gym i really like the cut of the sports bra it's like really flattering and nice this gives me pink princess pilates slash pink productive princess and i love myself a good pale pink Sets. I feel like a little princess in it and it's the best thing ever your workout clothes make such a big difference in like your motivation to go to the gym and everything because if you feel cute you will perform good and you will actually feel more inspired you know my two top favorite brands for workout clothes are Gymshark and Aritzia I find they just have the best materials and the cutest selection so slay <laughs> Oh, 
just about to go grocery shopping but i decided to pop home for just a bit because i want to see the kitties and also i'm gonna make a tea this morning and i'm gonna use my new iDeem multi-function electric steam brewer and this is for coffee and tea this i feel like is gonna encourage me to drink more teas and also if i want to switch it up i can also make coffee in here so she's a sleigh let's make a little cute tea for the morning and i'll show you guys how to use it and how i'm gonna make a good tea so as i already said earlier this is the bydeem multi-function electric steam brewer for tea and coffee it has a 750 milliliters large capacity for brewing so it's perfect for serving about like one to four people you can use it in your home your office or when you're traveling because it's such a great portable size it's super super easy to brew as you can see here for the tea i'm just adding my leaves into the basket and then i'm just adding filtered water to the amount i want popping the basket in and then putting the lid on so now after putting it on the base and plugging it in i can choose between five levels of flavor ranging from regular to bold that tailor the strength to your preference i chose to do it a bit more on the bold side because i like it strong there is also four temperature settings for rapidly heating water so the steam brew really does such a good job and it fully extracts the essence and flavor of your tea leaves and coffee as you can see it doing it here so after it's done brewing you can also keep it warm by long pressing the 212 fahrenheit button for two seconds then press the start button to activate the manual keep warm function so if you don't want to drink your beverage all at once you can keep it warm for later for up to eight hours so all the materials used on the steam brewer are bpa free and food grade so it's perfect for all different types of tea and coffee Let's do a tea taste test. Look at how beautiful this deep red is. Oh my gosh, it did such a good job and it was so fast. Mmm, oh my gosh, that is actually so good. This is hibiscus tea, by the way. 10 out of 10 would recommend. If you guys want to shop by Deem and this kettle, it'll be linked in the description, of course. So go shop it. Click the link down below. Thank you so much to by Deem for sponsoring today's video. Cheers to tea. I'm going to drink this, probably do some emails, and then I'm going to head back out and go grocery shopping. I just kind of want to get my grocery shopping done right away. It's only like 8 o'clock right now, so the grocery store is probably not going to be that busy. And I just kind of want to get it over with. So I haven't, I don't know why, but I haven't been enjoying grocery shopping shopping as much recently i feel like i go through phases in it where sometimes i'll really romanticize it and i'll get excited to go but recently i've just been like okay can we get this over with you know what i mean i'm like borderline should i just do grocery delivery but i feel like getting it done first thing in the morning is really good and then i can be home by like nine o'clock and have everything done put everything away have breakfast etc then i don't need to go back out i can just get to doing my work so that's the vibe for today the sun is out you guys it is such a beautiful day already and this just makes me so happy because it just makes the world my house so much brighter and just amazing puts me in a good mood we love the sun and i'm so excited for summer i feel like this summer is just going to be good like i have really good vibes about summer 2024 let me know if you guys feel the same way because i definitely do i feel the good vibes flowing in for summer 2024 and i'm actually going to manifest it so let's all manifest this together do you guys like my sunglasses because i thrifted yes thrifted them which is insane they're kind of like cheetah print how cute i was like oh let me just check the glasses while i'm here the sunglasses i never check them and i found these like they're so freaking cute cheetah print is so in right now i'm actually obsessed with it like i want everything cheetah and the fact that i just found these glasses like that is such a slate by me so when i went home i kind of checked what i had in the fridge i planned out some dinners tonight i'm thinking about having steak with some fries like homemade fries because that just sounds so good and we haven't had steak in a while i like to like mix up our meats and stuff to get like different nutrients in i also want to make these carrot cake ball protein ball things that i found the recipe on tiktok so i'm gonna get ingredients for that and we're gonna make them together so you guys can see the recipes so let's go in get our groceries for the week I just 
finished up at the first grocery store and I am just at Meridian Meats right now waiting for them to open. They don't open for another like five minutes. That's so funny. I didn't even realize I would have to check like what time the grocery store is open because I am coming super early. I'm tired. I haven't been used to waking up at five because like I said, I've been off my grind. This is my first workout of the week and that's why I'm going grocery shopping so late into the week. I can't record the podcast this week because Talia is sick and so she may even have strep throat. I don't know. She is down bad. She's down bad. So I feel so bad for her, but there's not going to be a podcast episode this week. So that is a little bit disappointing, but it doesn't actually really matter in the grand scheme of things. I was thinking about doing a solo episode, but the podcast is so fresh that it's like, I don't know if I want to do a solo episode when we only have like five episodes out so far. But let me know if that's something that you guys would watch and would want to see if like her and I ever did like a solo episode and we would only ever do that if one of us was sick or something. So let us know if one of us is sick or for some reason can't record that week if you would want a solo episode from either of us because that would be something we can like think about doing i might just take this week off of the podcast because i have been editing it and it's a lot of work it just like adds a lot of extra work you know on my plate it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a break this week so i'm gonna enjoy it while i can also let me know how you guys are liking the two times a week uploads because it has been keeping me busy let me tell you that but i also really actually like it because i feel like i almost vlog more like i'm making basically almost like two 30 to 40 minute vlogs per week which is actually insane but i feel like having to make two vlogs a week i'm almost talking to you guys more because i'm like oh i have to i have to make this video within like two three days because i'm uploading twice a week so i feel like it like forces me to vlog more of what i'm doing rather than like if i'm doing a weekly vlog like i used to do i don't pick up the camera as much because i'm like oh i like i still have all week to vlog you know what i mean so i feel like you guys get more more exclusive like more chatty content when i do twice a week upload so let me know how you guys are liking it because i have been really liking it and like i said it's been keeping me busy also madison put me on sabrina carpenter's new album and i've been listening to it and i actually really like it like i did not know her music was really good it's so like boppy like i don't even know how to describe it but listening to her new album at the gym and it was so good i'm like wow okay this is a turn of events because i was just telling madison that i have like no good music right now she's like girl have you listened to sabrina carpenter you need to and i'm like well I've, I've listened to some of her songs like her popular ones on tiktok but i don't actually like you know listen to her music i feel like i haven't sat down and listened to music in a while just because i have been i don't know in my podcast era i guess and now i kind of get i do get the hype because i was just confused for a while but now i get it and she slays but anyways okay i think the grocery store should be open now so let's go in and get our meats for the week and then we'll head home clean the kitchen put it all away have breakfast do all that <laughs> it feels like my morning routine is like 10 hours sometimes especially if when i go grocery shopping it's like i need to clean out the fridge and then i need to make breakfast and then i need to clean breakfast and then all that process takes like i woke up at 5 a.m and it's already what like 8 39 that's crazy overview grocery haul so i got some bone broth some salsa strawberries bananas i got this milk and i've been incorporating a little bit of dairy back into my diet just to see if i have a reaction this is just like to have in my fridge because i usually make my own cashew almond milk so i'm going to be making that this week as well to have mostly but i do want to start incorporating some dairy back so we'll see how this sits with me i got some sparkling water some greek yogurt some cottage cheese some chosen foods ranch i think this might be new because i've never seen it before and i love this brand their mayo is so good i got some grass-fed cheddar 
some apples, some burritos, regular ranch, white chocolate chips for the recipe we're gonna make today, and then just some chipettes. And then I wanted to try some new chips, so I got these sweet potato fries, and then I just got my Dorito dupes as usual. But yeah, so that's the little grocery haul. I forgot to show you the meats, so I got two ribeye steaks for tonight, and then I also got some chicken wings because these are just good for dinner with a salad, super easy. And then I just got some ground beef. So just three things for three dinners because it is <laughs> like the end of the week, so I'm gonna be going shopping soon anyways. Yeah, that's the full little haul. So it is a little bit later now. I got myself ready for the day. I've been loving getting myself ready because I just always end up being so much more productive than the days that I don't get myself ready. So it's been something that I've been really trying to do every single weekday is just put myself together no matter what I'm doing because it just makes me feel better and it just makes me more inclined to actually, you know, do things and get things done, especially filming and stuff because obviously I want to look presentable for you guys. So I have my coffee. My mom actually did just come over for a bit because she wanted to meet the girls. So she met the kittens and she's also painting a picture for me because my mom is like literally an artist. She doesn't do it like as a job, but she's been painting like for so many years and she used to, I'm pretty sure she used to teach in art class. She is a artist and she's so good. So she's actually painting a painting for my house. So, so we just kind of needed to like look at the dimensions and stuff for that. But anyways, so so I wanted to show you guys a bit of a PR haul. I feel like I rarely get PR. I don't know why. If you're watching this as a brand, <laughs> please send me stuff. I have been getting a little bit more PR recently. I did get a box from Drunk Elephant, which is like gasp moment. I honestly think I manifested this because I've been wanting to try their bronzing drops for so long now and they sent me them. I have gotten a package from Drunk Elephant before, but I've never gotten their bronzing drops before. So when I saw this, I actually gasped and I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try them since they were so hyped up. And then I also got their rosy drops which is a kind of like a blush slash skincare. And I've also really been wanting to try these too. So that's a slay. Thank you so much to Drunk Elephant. These look like they're gonna be really pretty and glowy. And then I also got their Be Goldie Bright Drops. So I'm not sure what the difference is between these and the bronzing drops. I'm guessing this just gives you like a more luminous finish rather than like a bronze. So I'm excited to try them both and like compare. And then the last thing that they sent me is their Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And I actually already finished one of these because I love it so much. And it actually feel like, feels like it really hydrates my skin. Skin. I know their ingredients are super good. So anyways, thank you so much to Drunk Elephant. Their products are just so aesthetic. Okay, I love me good aesthetic skincare. So when I try out these products, I will definitely let you guys know how they are and if the bronzing drops are worth the hype. And then I did get one more thing in PR, which is this Ellis Brooklyn. It says it's going to be sold in Sephora um, perfume. And it actually smells so good. Um, it's kind of like a, I feel like more of a summer scent. I really don't have a real like high quality perfumes and i know this one's really high quality and good so this is nice for you know whenever i want to spruce up my scent yeah i feel like perfume is just something that i never really buy for myself so super happy i got this and i love the smell so good i don't think i've ever heard of this company before let me know if you guys have heard of them but they're in sephora so they must be big if you guys see that cowboy hat in that bag behind me i actually thrifted that just a week ago such good finds i don't know if the hat fits me yet because i still need to try it on and i want to clean it before i try it on so i'm gonna see if that hat fits me and then i got like a little tiny cute perfect size like beach bag for the summer just like a little it's like bigger than a mini purse but it's like the perfect in between it's so cute like literally three dollars i have this really good thrift store that's kind of near me ish and they actually priced our items as they should because value village oh my gosh can we just talk about what are they doing with their prices there's like a raggedy old t-shirt that has holes in it and they're like yep 15 dollars girl i can go to any store and buy a brand new t-shirt for that price like what are you doing actually at value village is kind of like turning me off recently so i've been going to like a smaller 
more grandma honestly grandma aesthetic thrift stores they have the best stuff i swear like the best dishware the best everything maybe not clothes in the clothing department they can lack a bit but like in the homeware stuff you'll always find good deals there like good deals value village just loves 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 to do a little bit of a big upcharge but yeah so that's the update for now i just gotta edit and get some work done for the day and then later we'll go down and make dinner and those protein bowls that i want to try for dessert i'm excited i have not been in my making dessert era so i'm excited to maybe hop back into it joel has been like you haven't been making dessert recently what's been up and i'm like i don't know i don't know but he's definitely missing my desserts which i am too guys look at my kittens right now they love my curtains they love snuggling in the curtains i think it's because they feel like they're enclosed um let me show you they're so cute oh my goodness like you're kidding like this is a joke right in the curtains they're just snuggled <laughs> put some fries in the oven as you guys saw and then i'm just gonna cook up the steaks 10 minutes before they're ready so i got a few minutes of spare time on my hands because i just put the air fryer the oven on the air fryer setting at 425 and i'm gonna put them in for like 20 minutes check them and then they'll probably need a bit more time so let's make those carrot cake protein balls that i was talking about earlier they look so good oh my goodness i'm like drooling for them i hope they're they live up to the expectation you know so it says i need a food processor i don't have one so i'm just gonna use my big blender on like a very low speed because i feel like that it's basically the same thing as a food processor so basically i just have to like prep all the ingredients and then it just gets put in the blender and you mix it up and then form it into balls first off we're going to do half a cup of carrots peeled and chopped so you don't need to chop them all the way because they're going to get in the food processor so it's basically just like a rough chop i'm assuming so let's get some carrots everybody go tell her how cute she is in the comments half a cup i guess that's going to be like what maybe one carrot two carrots let's get the measuring cup done. I feel like that's definitely one carrot. Okay, that didn't quite make half a cup. So rough estimate is about maybe one and a half, two carrots. Got my blender out here. I'm just gonna add like all the ingredients into it as we go. So now it calls for one cup of rolled oats. Now it calls for one cup of pitted dates. So I'm just gonna pit my dates right now. These are the best dates ever. They're medjool dates and I get them from Costco. One time I was making something with dates. I forget what it was. It might even be protein balls and I forgot to pit them. When I blended it, it was like making this really loud noise and I'm like, what is that? Like, what did I do? And then I realized, oh my goodness, I didn't pit the dates. And so the seeds are going chop, chop, chop. When you eat it, it was like crunch, 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 borderline about to break your tooth. Anyways, never making that mistake again. Okay, one cup of pitted dates. So now it calls for half a cup of walnuts, and it also says half a cup of shredded coconut, but I'm not going to be putting the coconut, so I'm going to put a bit more walnuts because I don't have coconut, and I don't really like coconut in these types of things. So we're just going to do over half a cup of walnuts instead. I don't know why, but I'm like obsessed with walnuts and pecans. Like I love them and everything. So now there's three calls for two tablespoons of almond butter, but I'm gonna use peanut butter instead just because I like the taste of it better. I don't know, I just feel like it's not gonna taste as good with the almond butter. So we're gonna put peanut butter, but I'm sure anything will work. This is just me being a little bit picky about it, so. Now it says one tablespoon of maple syrup. I'm gonna do a little bit extra because I love me some sweetness, maybe even like a little, almost two tablespoons there. 
says to add vanilla. I don't have vanilla, just one teaspoon. And then half a teaspoon of ginger powder. I don't have ginger powder. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So let's add that. And then the last ingredient for this is one scoop of vanilla protein powder. So that's all the ingredients in here. Now I'm just going to put it on a very low speed since this is a blender. So it can act as a food processor. I just put white chocolate chips. These are the ones that I bought today in the pot and I'm gonna melt them with just a tablespoon of coconut oil because this is gonna get drizzled over the balls. Just gonna melt this slowly and then I will show you guys the process. The balls are in the fridge right now, just cooling. And then we're gonna drizzle them, so slay. Here are the carrot cake protein balls. I think I put so much chocolate, but you know what? The more chocolate, the better in my eyes. So when I taste these, I will let you guys know how they are, but they look bomb. So would recommend, but I will taste it and give you guys a review in a bit. Here is dinner. This is a massive piece of steak. I'm definitely not going to be able to eat it. Homemade fries with mayo, of course. This just looks so good right now. Hey guys, so I am just chilling, watching Better Pump Rules, of course. I'm gonna go to bed in a bit, but I have been honestly really liking waking up at 5 a.m. I feel like it used to be so, so, so hard for me to do, but dare I say it, I feel like I'm actually adjusting a little bit to it and when i don't wake up at 5 a.m i actually i don't know i just don't feel good or as productive and it just works for me now i feel like it's because i just forced myself to like it and now i actually do which is crazy if you told me that i'd be waking up at 5 a.m like a couple years ago or last year every day i'd be like you're insane because i never considered myself like an early morning person because i love myself a good 12 hours sleep in but disciplining myself to have to get out of bed in the morning even though I really don't have to, like if you think about it, since I work for myself, I do create entirely my own schedule. And so I do not need to be up at the crack of dawn. I really don't. Doing it is kind of like a challenge for me that feels really fulfilling to stick to. And it gives me some sort of structure in my life. Because working for yourself, it sometimes could be hard to have structure since nobody's actually telling you what to do and you can really do whatever you want. So it feels good that like I'm keeping these little promises to myself and actually like following through with them. It's crazy how waking up a actually has gotten a lot easier for me it just feels great like i have been feeling great and just on my grind i mean in order to be productive you definitely don't have to wake up early but it just i don't know it's just been feeling so good to do it and it's just like the new normal for me now hi pretty girl you coming you say hi Guys, Tupi is still a little bit on edge in the house. Like, she's not fully used to it because we've only had her for, like, three days now. So, that's why she is never really popping in because she is constantly just hiding and staying in the corner. But I know she's going to warm up soon. Just like this one. You are just a model. They were so damn cute in the bed this morning. I hated the fact that I had to get up and leave them. But we did let them roam free in the house this morning. And that was our first time kind of leaving them just... In the house together when we left and we were only gone at the gym for like about an hour and a half so it's not like it was that bad but they were completely fine i mean they've been using the litter box they've been eating drinking water they know where everything is now so i feel like it's fine to leave them I'm so proud of my little girls and also i feel like because the summer is you know approaching and the days are getting the longest they're going to be all year it makes the most sense to wake up at five now because then you get like the full day and you can experience the full day rather than in the winter the sun literally rises at like what 8 a.m. Waking up at 5 a.m. I feel like it's like a million times harder in the winter just because of the cold, the rain, just everything. It just makes it that much harder. But maybe that's why it's feeling like it's getting easier because the days are getting longer and everything. But yeah, it also helps that I go to bed super early. Like it's currently 8.50 and I'm going to go to bed now. Hopefully be asleep at like 9.30, 9.45. But yeah, those carrot balls were actually really good. I just needed to grind up the ingredients more. I didn't grind them up enough because I was using the blender. I feel like it didn't do a good enough job as if the food processor would have. And so make sure if you're making them, you like grind everything up good. Cause they just wasn't mixed enough, I feel like. But overall, like they were really, really good. So would recommend. But yeah, I just honestly have been feeling super 
fulfilled in my life recently and I'm at a good place and I kind of have a good flow of just everything and I've been feeling really really good I feel like things are just circulating in my life really in alignment and I feel like I'm in the flow and when you feel in the flow it's like the best feeling ever tax season is officially quote-unquote over but ugh, I don't want to like rant on about it too much but the money that's leaving my account I'm like you're kidding me like ugh. Just sad to see her go but it's okay whatever but yeah this year i'm definitely going to be like a lot more organized when it comes to jotting everything down and keeping track of everything so that when next season like next year comes around i don't need to like stress or worry about it too much and i feel like when i stay organized in every aspect of my life it just makes me feel like a million times better when it comes to everything every single thing in my life so one tip that i have try to do things in the in the present that are going to benefit your future self even if that's dedicating like five minutes a day to doing something that is going to like accumulate so you don't have to do something huge in the future and stress about it it's so worth it i promise it's a short-term sacrifice for a long-term gain and that's what i'm trying to prioritize because i always like procrastinate stuff i always put stuff off and that always ends up biting me in the ass because then when that time rolls around where i have to do it i'm like oh my god i'm so down like why did i leave this for the last minute and not like keep up with it when i should have and so yeah i feel like just staying organized is like really important in terms of my sanity and it helps a lot with stress and everything and honestly i feel like the key to life and to being really healthy is to not stress oh my god you girls are so cute what are you doing toopy huh toopy's out of her shell right now or out of her little hiding oh my god guys i literally think they're the cutest things ever stop it right now they love running along the couch which i feel like this is such like a good couch for them because there's like a whole back ledge as you could see and they love running along the little back ledge i'm so happy that they have each other because i feel like i feel way too guilty just getting one cat because when we leave the house oh, <laughs> she's like girl pay attention to me play with me because when i leave the house i just feel too guilty if they don't have a friend not that we leave often but i just feel like cats are meant to be in pairs what are you girls doing huh the material of the couch is like so scratchy and they're definitely gonna scratch the couch up but i honestly don't even care it's just materialistic items at the end of the day oh <laughs> Friday. This was such a short week because I didn't actually get into my routine until halfway through the week, so it's been great. <laughs> but Friday is always a good day. I usually go to a workout class Friday, but today I decided I'm just gonna hit the gym because I haven't gone to the gym much this week, so I kind of want to get a leg day in. Oh, I was having some weird dreams last night, weird random dreams, and I hate that because it just confuses my brain when I wake up. And I feel like the quality of sleep isn't as good because I was just thinking the whole night and dreaming, you know? But I don't know if that's actually true, so who knows? But anyways, let's get ready for the gym, put our workout set on, and head out of the house. I didn't do the dishes from last night, or I did actually, that's a lie. We did them, most of them, but there's just a million dishes always, I feel like. I don't know, I feel like I'm constantly cleaning. I feel like I'm constantly cooking and there's always dishes it just never ends like it never ends even after i do a full clean the kitchen gets messy in two minutes but anyway so i'm using this huge pot to heat up my bone broth i don't like heating up my bone broth in the microwave because the microwave is really bad for you and it makes everything you do and make really lose its nutrients essentially i'm pretty sure because the radiation so i try to avoid the microwave as much as possible so it looks like we're heating my one cup of bone broth into it in a huge soup pot today my stomach is not feeling good this morning like period wise i might just really go light at the gym today i was gonna do leg day like i said but we'll see how i feel when i get there it might just be because it's like early so yeah i might just walk on the treadmill depending on how i feel but she's not feeling too hot she's not feeling too hot oh my god this mug is so small
Cause the boy is mine Find something about it that's made for somebody You like me, baby, come over, come over Oh my God knows I'm trying my best Just know you're sitting like you The boy is mine I can't wait to try him Let me skip it to twine So I honestly haven't really fully gotten ready for today because I have just been on my computer when I got home from the gym I took a fatty nap because as you guys know as I said I was not feeling good at all So I just took it really really light at the gym I just went on the treadmill and then I did the sauna So I definitely could not do a full workout and like if I do a full workout right now I will pass out so there's really just times of the month that you really have to just listen to your body and especially as a woman you have to almost like coordinate your workouts and everything with your cycle because there's literally times of the month where you'll where you'll wake up and you'll just be like nope like not today and that is okay because that's just our bodies and how things work and how we're made and so you really have to be like in tune with that and listen to it don't force yourself when you're not feeling good to do anything because that's just going to do you harm and you want to you know treat your body right and be healthy so i did the bare minimum today but that is okay because at least i got movement in you know what i mean like I, i'm proud of myself for at least going and just walking because that definitely made me feel better i'm feeling a lot better now than i was this morning my cramps have gone away so thank gosh but i have been editing on the computer and then joel and i went out to run some errands um so i want to show you guys what i got just randomly we went to the pet store because we needed to find some food for our kitties so we're tr going to try out different brands of food to see what they like but we got them new low wet food so we're gonna see and then i've been hearing amazing things about this um redkin all soft shampoo i have the redkin it's like the blue bottle one i forget what it's called maybe damage repair or something like that but the lady at the hair salon told me that i should be like rotating that shampoo with something else since that one has like a lot of protein or something she said don't use that one every time so i wanted to get a different one so i can rotate my shampoos so yeah this one is the redkin all soft and i've heard amazing things about this i'll link them down below on amazon because i know they're on there as well but apparently redkin is just like a really good price point it's not like too expensive but it is a long quality but we're hyping this up on tiktok so i'm like why not give it a try and i also want to wash my hair today i just like don't want to let my hair go super greasy anymore if i wear it up for like two days in a row i just want to wash it because i hate when my hair is greasy it's just like the most disgusting feeling and i don't feel clean i try to wash my hair obviously as not often as possible because i want to not wash it every single day but i feel like sometimes i go too long without washing it because i'm just lazy to style it and now i'm like whatever i can just wear a sleep back every day but i hate doing that because it also hurts my head when i have it up for too long so anyways gonna try to incorporate washing my hair a little bit more and maybe i on some days i just won't use heat especially on the weekend since i don't really do much anyways i can just like wear my natural hair and it's not a big deal or even if i just like give it a quick blow dry that will do the trick so anyways i'll let you guys know how these are because i'm gonna go shower soon yeah today i didn't really do anything at all exciting just because i like i said wasn't feeling good and whatever but i did get some computer work done i was gonna post a video this sunday but i'm not gonna post one anymore i'm skipping this weekend because this month actually has like nine posting days for me because wednesday sunday usually there's only eight in a month so i'd rather kind to get ahead on my video editing because right now i'm kind of behind and i'm always rushing so if i don't post this sunday then i'm gonna really get on track with everything which will be really nice for me and give me just like so much more time so i am gonna skip this week's weekend's upload then that'll really put me ahead which is like really nice so anyways that's the tea for today madison is coming over tonight we're gonna have a girls night because the boys are going out yeah that is the plan for today i'm gonna go wash my hair and just like get all cozy because i'm done work now I also ordered takeout tonight.